Hello, learner. Welcome to my lesson. Today, we are going to learn about soil conservation, the ways of improving soil, soil improvement. Soil is important because it helps plants get nutrients, air, water, and support. Soil conservation means taking care of soil to keep it healthy for plants to grow well. Soil improvements is the practice of adding nutrients to poor or overused soil to make a suitable for growing crops. Surface runoff. Water from rain that the flows over the surface of the ground. Soil erosion is the removal and carrying away of top soil. Top soil can be carried away by running water or by strong wind. Soil erosion by runoff occurs when water passes on loose soil and carries away the top fertile soil. Identification of sites for soil improvement in school or community. The sites in school or community farms whose soil needs improvement are area with the poor crop growth. Heavy rainfall, which results in surface runoff carries away the top fertile soil, leading to soil erosion. When soil erosion takes place, it leaves behind poor soils which cannot support healthy crop growth. Areas with eroded soils in the gardens have unhealthy plants growing. Eroded areas have poor soils for crop growth. Area where soil erosion has taken place will have poor crop growth. When the soil lacks necessary nutrients, poor crop growth will be seen resulting in stunted growth and low yields. The soil can be improved using organic manure. There is a need to control soil erosion to improve such area. Continuous growing of crops without maintaining and improving soil fertility leads to deficiency of the necessary nutrients to support crop growth. Too much water in the soil also leads to poor crop growth. Crops do not grow well in area with the poor soil. Sites that may have poor soil for crop growth include areas where Top soil has been carried away by runoff. Cultivation has taken place for a long. Mining has taken place. Construction has taken place. We can improve the soil in these areas by applying the compost manure or by making organic waste pits. Construction of an organic waste pit or a residual pit or a compost pit. An organic waste pit is a place where waste materials that can decompose are dumped. And B. Materials that do not decompose easily should not be dumped in an organic waste pit. An organic waste pit is a structure used for putting plants and crop remains, food, remains, and kitchen waste. An organic waste pit, also known as a compost pit, is a hole in the ground where organic waste is buried to decompose and create nutrient-rich compost. It is different from a compost pit. Organic waste. Pit can be dug in the ground or constructed above the ground, using wooden box or drum as a compost bin. The waste decomposes over time and adds nutrients to soil. This makes it suitable for growing plants. The sides of organic waste pit can be built with wood or stones. Materials put into the waste pit are food remains, dried leaves, kitchen waste, cut grass, hedge prunings, sweepings from animal houses and from school compound, kitchen scraps, dried leaves, grass clippings, twigs, dead branches, cow dung crop remains. NB. Sort waste materials before putting into waste pit. Only organic waste that can be decomposed should be dumped into the pit. Sprinkle some water to keep the materials moist for better decomposition. A plastic drum wooden palatan organic waste pit or a residual pit or a compost pit. Requirement for constructing an organic waste pit, or a residual pit, or a compost pit. Suitable site for constructing organic waste pick. Djembe or hoe for digging the pit. A spade or shovel for scooping out the soil. 
organic waste materials, such as plant residue, food remains, organic waste kitchen, cut grass, hedge prunings and sweepings from animal houses and from school compound, wheelbarrow or bucket to carry the organic waste to pit, rake for leveling the surface of the organic waste pit and mixing the organic materials, polythene sheet to cover the organic waste pit, protective gear such as gloves, gum boots, and overall, watering can for sprinkling water into the organic waste pit, Manure fork for mixing decomposing organic waste with soil. Coarse materials such as small stones for laying at the bottom to aid drainage and air circulation. Steps to follow when constructing organic waste pit. Identify an appropriate site to construct the organic waste pit. Dig a pit large enough to accommodate available organic waste pit. Lay coarse materials at the bottom to aid drainage and air circulation. Collect organic waste materials and the dump them into the pit. Add some soil into the pit and alternate with the layers of organic waste materials. Sprinkle enough water to keep the waste materials moist for better decomposition. Keep turning the composing materials to allow circulation of air, which will promote decomposition. Cover the pit with the polythene sheet to prevent rainwater and any accident. Growing crops in an organic waste pit or residual pit. Crops planted in poor eroded soil have poor growth. Poor soils can be improved using decomposed organic waste. Crops planted in the organic waste pit grow healthy and strong because the nutrients readily available. Reach a large size and height because the fertile soil. Look healthy with bright green leaves and strong stems. The decomposed materials in the organic waste pit have nutrients that support crop growth. When they are mixed with soil, the soil is improved to support crop growth. When plants are grown in the residual pit, they grow well and appear healthy. D. Yield from crops planted in an organic residual pit is high. An organic quest pits is a structure where plants' residues, food remains, and the kitchen wastes are placed so that they can decompose. The decomposed material in then used to improve the soil with poor crop growth. The organic waste pits can be dug in a ground or constructed above the ground. Other material that can be used in organic waste pits include cut grass, hedge pruning, sweeps from the animal's house and leaves that have fallen off from the school compound. Once the compost is ready, you can use it to improve your soil and help. Plants grow. You can plant directly in the pit or place plants near it. Importance of organic waste materials in the soil. Organic waste materials in the soil. A. A. Provide nutrients required by crops to grow healthy. B. Improve the ability of soil to hold. Water. C. Accumulated waste is used to improve soils with poor crop growth. D. Improve the movement of air in the soil. E. Help in recycling kitchen waste and plants residue. Composting is a natural way to create nutrient-rich material without using chemicals. G. It can also help restore soil structure and combat fight climate change.